Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Eda TV, baby. And in this episode, I'd like to discuss the, the first two tournaments of the 2010 Men's Championship Tournament that took place over the weekend. Now, let's get right into it with the winners. We have Syracuse that's going to take on Butler. Xavier will be facing number two seed Kansas State. The Dukies of Duke will be take on Purdue. And the Bulldogs of Baylor will face St. Mary's. Northern Iowa will face Michigan State. Tennessee will go on to face the Buckeyes of Ohio State. The Wildcats of Kentucky will go on to face the Big Red Machine of Cornell. And Washington will face West Virginia. Now, out of the games that took place in the first two rounds are... Upset watch of the weekend had to be Northern Iowa defeating number one. That's right, I said it. Northern number nine seed, Northern Iowa defeating number one seed overall in the tournament, number one seed, Kansas. How did this happen? I mean, all I can say is heart determination, the eye of the tiger, and you just got to keep shooting the three. Because, I mean, these guys, I guess they walked in thinking, we're not the number nine seed, and we're not facing the number one seed in Kansas. All we're doing is facing the guys that are better, but we got a lot more heart, and they showed that heart, and they came out victorious. Now, they're going to go on to face the Spartans of Michigan State. Even though that their point guard has a potential season-ending injury, sources are reporting that his Achilles tendon could be torn, but we have yet to know. Coach Izzo of the Michigan State Spartans, I'm sure is going to have that team well prepared. And knowing that he's a former national championship coach, he's going to have that team prepared and amped up, ready to play in this game. Personally, myself, I think that the best game that's going to take place this weekend is going to come between two games. The Volunteers of Tennessee taking on Ohio State. I think the number six seed facing the number two seed is going to be a good matchup just in terms of talent on the court. You have Evan Turner, who's a potential All-American slash Player of the Year candidate, as well as Bruce Pearl. I mean, there's no standout player on Tennessee, but those guys all can score in a varied way. So I think that's going to be a standout game to watch. Another game that's another standout game to watch are the Wildcats of Kentucky taking on the Big Red Machine of Cornell. Uh, the reason why I say this is because Randy Whitman is knocking down threes like there's no tomorrow. But it shouldn't be a shock. I mean, he's averaging over 40% throughout the season. And the biggest matchup in this game, in my opinion, will be the centers. They'll, be, they'll definitely be the center of attention. You have Jeff Foote, a seven-footer for Cornell, who actually has some good game and can rebound and score, will be going up against potential first-round pick and a freshman in DeMarcus Cousins. That's going to be a good matchup to watch down low. All the other games, not that there's, there are games that you don't want to watch, but in my eyes, those are the two marquee games. Another good game to watch only because that this one guy is making some serious coinage for himself. St. Mary's center, Omar Samhan, number 50, the St. Mary's Cardinals, or should I say the St. Mary's, I uh, forgot what their logo is, but hey, they'll be, they took out Villanova this past weekend. Villanova was a perennial, how should I say, top five team throughout the entire season, was a number two seed. And this Sam Hand guy, I mean, he's averaging over 25 points and 10 plus boards a game. So this guy's making some serious cha-ching for himself in this tournament. So other than that, I mean... There are some exciting games, but in my opinion, those are the three games that you really want to watch. And all the other games, they're good, but you just might want to watch those because that might be the most exciting. Those will be the most exciting games taking place. Now, I don't have any other news for you, but when it breaks, I'll be the first to let you know. Thank you for watching this episode of EDOT TV. Peace.